this passage, it is this. When it comes to pursuing God's will, be directed, you, yourself, be directed by the Spirit and not by others. And not by what others say the Spirit is telling you to do. You see the difference? You yourself, knowing in your relationship with God, have access to the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God, He dwells within you. So you be yourself, be directed by the Spirit and not by others. That's not to say that we shouldn't listen to, to other Christians. We, we know that the Scriptures encourage us we're, we're to be in community, and that we speak into one another's lives, and that, uh, that there's great wisdom in the counsel of being counselors. That's, again, we should, it's not to say we shouldn't listen to other believers. God places good and godly people in our lives to speak into our lives. However, in the end, we ourselves must be sure to be led by the Spirit. See, I believe that these Christians in time were filled up with good intentions. They really meant well, not knowing the full context of what the Spirit was saying to them or leading them to say or to do. They were filled with good intentions. They loved Paul, and it was their love that caused them uh, to beg him not to go. But good intentions are not, as far as Paul understood, the Spirit's will for him. It was not a part of God's plan to listen to them. To do what they were saying. God's plan was for Paul to go to Jerusalem. And the Spirit of God had already directed him to do so. You know, from time to time, I will have someone come to me and say, Pastor, I need to share something with you. I'm a little nervous to share this with you. But God has told me to tell you something. Right? And, and it'll be something along that. Uh, there's been a, a number of subjects that, that the Lord apparently has told other people to tell me, such as... The Lord has told me you need to preach on such and such a subject. Or you need to address this particular thing. Or, or God said to me to tell you that we need to start a new ministry. And that the church is supposed to do it. And, and, to, and to fund it. And, and so here's my typical response. When somebody says, the Lord told me to tell you. My, my response is going to be something along these lines. Well, that's funny. The Lord hasn't told me that yet. Right? And it's not that... I just want to discount what, what is being told to me. But, but the point is, as I share with them, if the Lord wants me to do that or is leading us to do that, don't you think he would also tell me to? So I, I really don't know if the Lord has led them or not. I, I can't say for, for, for certain. Maybe he has, maybe he hasn't. Uh, but whatever the, whatever is motivating them, I, I certainly believe that they're well-intentioned and they have good intentions and they want to see God do a thing. But what's more important is what the Spirit is leading me individually and how the Spirit is leading you individually. It's a lesson we all should learn. That there are people all around us with good intentions and they want what's best for us, but that doesn't mean that they know what God wants for us. They may not understand the path that we are taking. You see, Paul had already heard from the Spirit, already been directed by the Spirit, and he obviously doesn't heed the advice that's being offered to him because when the ship was ready to sail, guess what Paul was doing? He was getting on the ship. See, Paul was his own man, but he wasn't, he wasn't his own man. He was God's man. And God is going to direct him, and he sought God's will for his life. So, as you, personally, as you're pursuing God's will, be directed yourself. Be directed by the Spirit and not by others. Now, there's some danger as you're trying to discern what God's will is for you, your life, and as you're trying to discern the will of the Spirit, you've got to be careful about some of our own cravings and our own desires and the things that we want personally that may not necessarily be what God wants for us. Because our own cravings uh, can, can hinder our pursuit of God's will. And if we're not careful, our own desires can outweigh God's desire, which was likely a temptation for Paul, as we see as we continue the story. Go on down to verse 5. We've not read this part yet, so let me just read this.